Okay, so a quick tutorial on using the Ken Burns effect with photos in your um, in uh, iMovie for the iPad. Um, this is an example of a here we have a photo that's in side of um, my browser in iMovie. Um, you can use your photos tool over here, jump into your camera roll, find whatever pictures you might have. If, if you want to pick one, you just click on it and it'll jump it right down into your, into your frame. If you want to get rid of it, you just kind of hold on to it and then you can drag it out and it'll poof away, which is awesome. Okay, so in order to use utilize the Ken Burns effect the right way, you have to first um, press on the, the frame down in your timeline. So I'm going to press on it. It's going to put these um, these little handles on it, right? So the yellow handles. And the tools you're going to use are right here to start and stop your campaign. Okay, and so wherever you start at the beginning, so this is the beginning, you can see it's all the way the, the playhead right here is right at the beginning of your, of your picture. See right up here that it's going to be on here for 6.3 seconds. If I wanted to shorten that up, I could always just grab the end of it and shrink it down a little bit. And you can see now that it's up here. Okay, so this is a photo that's in iMovie for three seconds. And if I want it to move, let's say I want it to start as a focused in on the little Raspberry on the Raspberry Pi computer. So I'll come down here and I'll pinch on the screen and split my fingers apart until I'm close up into that little raspberry signal and so that's my position to start and then I'm gonna press the one under that the pinch position to the end and I basically want it to zoom out I want it to look like that and so if I if I then squeeze it all the way in on that pinch position make it as small as it can get then, if I drag it back to the beginning and I press play, I can see the animation that my um, that I'll get from that Ken Burns effect. 